All right, let's get into some of the best and worst performances of the week. It's always, and this is not just who had the best uh, fantasy points on the week, the highest fantasy points, though that's absolutely a factor, or the worst fantasy points. These, This is context, too, which, which of these performances were most impactful and most important for our fantasy teams. So starting off here with the good. Travis Etienne over there in London, 26 carries, 136 yards, two touchdowns, also had five targets, caught four of them for 48 yards, 32.4 half PPR points per game, or points per game, points in this game. Uh, just an incredible performance for Etienne. And, it's, you know, he hasn't really had the blow-up weeks. Like, he had a really good week one, but since then, he hasn't been getting the touchdowns. Uh, Tank Bigsby is still getting some of that short yardage work stealing that from Travis Etienne. But Etienne has still had a really good role uh, getting the majority of the running back opportunities there for the Jaguars. He's involved in the passing game. So he's had a really nice floor this entire time. We just haven't had the ceiling game. And today we finally got that ceiling game. Next up, Jamar Chase, the game we really needed to see from him. Uh, 19 targets, 15 catches, 192 yards, three touchdowns. 44.7 44.7 half PPR points today. Just an incredible game for Jamar Chase. We know there was some frustration from him uh, as this Bengals offense has really kind of struggled to get anything going. But today against the Cardinals, they had all the offense that we, they've been struggling to get basically in one game. And, you know, go along with this, Joe Burrow also had a good game. 36 of 46, 317 yards, three touchdowns, did throw a win at one interception, added like seven rushing yards. He had over 23 fantasy points. In this game, which was great to see. Still not like the full-on ceiling, ceiling game that we know that Burrow is capable of. Uh, I don't know if we'll get that same type of game we've seen him get in the past because he is not really running, which he shouldn't be, honestly, with this calf injury. But he looked better today. He looked much better maneuvering through the pocket, and we need that for sure uh, because that's what helps set up some of these big plays, especially for Jamar Chase, when they can work a little bit off script. Last good performance of the day, another player where we've been waiting for this game from them, and that's Brees Hall. This was an absolute smash spot. We've been talking about it all week. Everyone's been talking about it all week, and it came to fruition. 22 carries, 177 yards, and a touchdown. Also got three targets, caught all of them for 17 yards, 26.9 half PPR points. He also had 25 of the 35 running back opportunities that the Jets had today, which is, I mean, where he should be, but he hadn't be. Hadn't been there. And that's why it's worth mentioning right now uh, that they talked about a little bit. There was like a little bit of coach talk that said like he's going to be getting more of the carries. You know, the the ramp up is over, um, but it's hard to believe when those things are said, because even though that should have been happening this entire time, you know, like Dalvin Cook is stealing was stealing opportunities and he looks terrible. Uh, You don't know if they're actually going to do it because they've been showing that they want to give Dalvin Cook carries for some reason. But hey. Today, we got to see a really good opportunity share from him. He absolutely made the best of it. We need to see it. We love to see it. Brees Hall is probably going to be RB1, an NRB1 rest of season. Um, if you watched the Best Ball Bash video I did uh, last week, where I did a Best Ball Resurrection video, if you're not on Underdog yet and you want to sign up to do some of those drafts, uh, you can use code DWB for a first-time deposit match up to $200. But during that show, I mentioned, you know, like I – Someone asked about Ramondre or Brees Hall rest of the season, and uh, I I said Brees Hall. I think that Brees Hall, uh, even though he had like a lower opportunity share than Ramondre Stevenson up to this point, I expect him to be ramping up and to be really good down the rest of the, re- the season, and I, I think that's going to be true. 